It is time for tailgating. Whoa, back up. <laughs> it's like I'm t my face is taking up the whole screen. All right, it is time for tailgating. With football season upon us, it is time to pull out your best tailgating recipes for the big game. But if you're at a loss of what to make, Steve here, he's with Salty Iguana, Iguana and he's going to talk about a tasty solution. The big thing in tailgating parties, guacamole. Yeah, it's good when it's fresh. We're going to show you how to make it today. Yes, all right, amigo. Let's, uh, let's start. Where do we begin? Begin by going to the store and getting some... Uh, ripe avocados. Make sure that you, you test them. They're nice and ripe. Yeah. How do you know? How do you well, know you, a good you, avocado? You feel them if they're if they're smishy. Okay. Then you know that they're if they're really hard. They're, you don't want those. All right. So and we start with that. You take your avocado and take a knife and just cut it in half. So not the other way. Open you it up and then, and then right. take the rest of your knife and pop that seed out of there. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Take some kind of spoon and uh, scoop out the pulp. Okay. And put it in your bowl. And you're good. You're quick. Once you have your uh, pulp out, then take a, a masher. All right. And mash it up. Now, what's the consistency at, at this moment? What should you do? A chunky, not. Oh, I dropped the seed. <laughs> um, should you like have it, um, you know, pretty smooth? Like. Um, you want to mash it up really good. All right. And once you have that done. All right. Let's start putting in some. Put in some tomato. Some, put in some tomatoes. What kind of tomatoes do you use? Roma? Do you use uh, whatever you uh, like? Whatever. Doesn't matter. All right. Some onion. Okay. Red or white onion? White onion. White onion. Okay. Then you want to have a little lime juice. Okay. Not lemon. Nope. Limes. Lime. All right. How many? Just just a little bit. Half a lime for this much probably. Okay. Put in here and uh, juice her out. Nice. And okay. then stir that up real good. Okay. And what else? That's it. Well, wait, wait. we got to kick it up a notch yeah. here. we got to put a little bit of uh, garlic. Garlic powder or garlic salt? Garlic granulated. Okay. And then a little salt. And a little salt. Could you do uh, fresh garlic instead of just doing the, the Yeah, garlic? sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And if you want to spice it up some, you can dice up some jalapenos. Yeah. Maybe put a little bit of cilantro in there. Oh, I love the cilantro, Depends yeah. Depends on how you like it, if you okay. like it like that. And uh, you know what I've used in mine? Serrano peppers. Okay. Yeah. 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 So obviously it's all based on your preference. Then all also, right. if you want to do some tailgating, we've got a party pack that you can pick up at the restaurant. Uh, burritos, enchiladas, you get rice and beans, iguana dip, plates, silverware, everything you need. Cool, cool. I and love then, it. And then if you're uh, going out, we also have some game day specials at the restaurant during games this week, this year. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh homemade tortillas with uh, fresh bre breakfast burritos and tacos. There breakfast you go. Tacos. All right. Well, this is a real simple recipe. I'm going to get this off there. And if you want to get it, all you have to do is just go to NBCActionNews.com. But I'm telling you folks, if you want to put that cilantro in there, that will really uh, give it some flavor, the flavor that you need, I believe. Um, all right, with Salty Iguana, thank you for sharing your recipe with us. I know it's really popular at your uh, restaurant. Really easy to make, and uh, it comes out great. And when you're done, have some chips with it, and yeah. you'll really have a good time. There you go. Thanks, Steve. All thank right, you very we'll, much. We'll send things over to Brett.